Okay, hello everyone. Sa, sa video po na ito, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano mag-simplify ng rational expression. Okay, example number 1, we have 5xy over 5x. Okay, to simplify, ang gagawin po natin, ikakancel out po natin yung common or 5 divided by 5 is 1. x divided by x is 1. And then, we have y. So, 1 times 1 is 1 times y equals y. Okay, so the answer is y. Or, ang gagawin po natin is i-cancel out po natin yung common po sa numerator at denominator. Okay, 5 cancel and x cancel. So, the answer is y. Okay, so same lang po yung nakuha natin doon sa first solution and the second solution. Okay, next number 2. x cubed over x square y. Okay, so x cubed means tatlong beses yung x or factor x cubed. We have x times x times x. Factor natin yung x square x times x times y. And then, ka-cancel natin ang common sa numerator and denominator. x and x cancel. And then, i-rewrite -re natin kung ano yung natira. So, we have x over y. Next, number 3, 9x over 12y. So, ang first step is ipa-factor natin yung 9 and 12. So, factor ng 9 is 3 times 3. Then, we have x. Factor ng 12, we have 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, to make it 12, 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 equals 12, and then y. Okay, the next step is cancel out the common sa numerator at denominator. Cancel 3, and then, okay. So, i-rewrite -re natin kung ano yung natira sa numerator at denominator. Sa numerator, we have 3x. Sa denominator, so ang gagawin natin, multiply natin yung 2 times 2. So, we have 4 then, we have now 4y. The answer is 3x over 4y. Next, number 4, y raised to 6 over y square. Okay, so since we have the exponent 6, means anim na beses yung y. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and then next, over y squared. So, the long basis ang y. Then, cancel out the common. Cancel y. Then, we have now y raised to 4. Or, ang gagawin lang natin is subtract yung exponent. 6 minus 2 is 4. So, the answer is y raised to 4. Or, subtract their exponent. Next, number 5. 6 xy square over 18x square y. Okay, so the first step is for factor natin yung 6 at saka 18. Okay, so para mas madali, kunin na natin yung greatest common factor which is uh, 6x and y times y. Okay, since bakit 6? Since yung 18 is a uh, greatest common factor ng 18 is 6. So, 3 times 6 is 18. So, x times x and y. Okay. So, cancel out the common. Cancel 6 and then cancel x. Cancel y. Okay, and then i-rewrite natin kung ano yung natira sa numerator which is y. So, denominator we have 3 and x. So, we have now y over 3x. Next, number 6. y times the quantity of x minus y all over the quantity of x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. Cancel out the common. Cancel x minus y. And then, rewrite yung nasa numerator na natira, which is y over x plus y. And the answer is y over x plus y. Number 8, y raised to 6 times the quantity of a plus b over y squared times the quantity of a plus b. Cancel out the common so we can cancel 
a plus b. Okay, then y raised to 6 over y square. Okay, so subtract lang natin yung numerator. Okay, so 6 minus 2. So cancel out a plus b. And then y raised to 6 minus 2. The answer is y raised to 4. Next, number 9. x square minus y square over x plus y. Okay, so since quadratic yan, ibig sabihin, mayroon siyang dalawang factor. Okay, factor x square, x times x. Factor y, uh, factor y square, that is y times y. Okay, since negative ang sign ng last term, meaning magkaiba ang sign ng factor. So, that is positive and negative. Then, rewrite x plus y. Next, cancel out the common. So, cancel x plus y and the answer is x minus y. Next, number 10. x square plus 5x plus 6 over x square plus x minus 6. Okay, since quadratic, the long factor ang makukuha natin. Okay, so first factor natin yung nasa numerator. Okay, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang factors. And then, sa so denominator, dalawang factor din since quadratic po yan. Okay, factor ng x square is x times x. Factor ng 6 is 3 times 2. Since ang last term is positive, okay, dapat pareho ang sign ng factors. And then, ang sign ng middle term is positive, therefore, pareho silang positive. Then, factor x square, x times x, factor ng 6 is, since negative 6, okay, positive ang middle term, factor ng 6 is 3 times 2. Okay, and then, uh, pagdating sa sign, since ang last term natin ay negative, magkaiba ang sign. Okay, so magkaiba ang sign, then tingnan natin yung middle term positive, yung positive na yan, ilalagay natin doon sa mas malaking number ng factor. Okay, so x plus 3, x minus 2. Then, cancel out the common. Common ng x plus 3, cancel. Therefore, we have... Okay, hindi natin siya pwede i-cancel dahil magkaiba yung sign. So, we have x plus 2 over x minus 2. Okay, so that is how to simplify rational expression. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and then click playlist. Okay, so please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.